Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I'm really excited about having my friend on, Jonathan, Jonathan Bentz. He is with a great company called Intrepid. That's N-E-T-R-E-P-I-D.com. They are technology leaders, and that's why we bring them on The Price of Business. They are our authorities when it comes to talk about technology issues here on The Price of Business program. And uh, Jonathan, as always, glad to have you on. How are you, my friend? Hey, Kevin. We're uh, we're doing real well, and uh, we're looking. We got a we got a great guest on. We got a lot of uh, exciting things happening here with Netrepid uh, as we wind the year down. So uh, we're uh, we're fired up and happy to be here. Awesome. Tell us about your guest today. Well, well actually, before you do that, is... before you do that, I'm sorry. I like it when you kind of give my listeners my listeners aware of what you guys do before you do that. I'm sorry. Go ahead and do that first. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, we are, uh, Netrepid is a provider of uh, co-location, infrastructure, and application hosting services. Uh, so we're, we're a cloud service, uh, cloud service provider, technology provider, located in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, and we help uh, businesses accelerate their, the evolution of their technology from the ground to the cloud. We kind of like to, to hang our hat on, on being that type of solution for businesses of all sizes that are growing. Awesome. And your guest today? Our guest today is a gentleman named Jason Bloomberg, uh, and he's a he's an author and uh, the president of a company called Intellix. Jason, welcome to the program. Can you start by giving us your elevator speech? Uh, yes, thanks for having me. Well, Intellix is an industry advisory firm focusing on digital transformation. And what that means is that uh, you know many uh, companies around the world are being pushed by their customers to deal better with a wider range of technologies. So customer pressures, uh, customer preferences, customer buying behavior is driving organizations to leverage not just the web, but mobile and social media and a variety of digital technologies. This requires organizations to rework their technology as well as their organizations. So digital transformation is organizational as well as technological and impacts organizations around the world, government as well as private sector. So I'm in there. You know, I love confusion. If there's confusion, I'm in there trying to help people figure this stuff out, and that's that's what I do. See, your, your job's the exact opposite of mine. I create the confusion. So you and I need to figure out how to make money together. Well, if you create <laughs> it, I'll, I'll fix it. And, you know, as long as people pay us, we're set. There you go. Jonathan, your question. So uh, so one of the, the questions that I always like to, to ask uh, uh you know, experts, especially experts like Jason, uh, you know, obviously it's becoming more and more important. There's, there's a whole lot of buzz about going to the cloud. Uh, and, you know, Jason, I want to get some feedback from you on, on why, why is it so important for companies to, to embrace the cloud and, and move towards it? Well, first, it's important to understand that the cloud is not a single thing. It, it's a rather loose collection of things that have been lumped together onto the, under this cool, you know, cloud uh, uh, marketing term. But in reality, it consists of uh, uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure is a service, you know, providing uh, ability for organizations to outsource their technology infrastructure and pay as you go for the capacity they want. But it also includes uh, platform as a service where organizations are leveraging the cloud to build software in a more flexible way. And then software as a service is really a broad category for any kind of technology that is accessible over the Internet. So every Every application that we used to call a web application is now software as a service, and that covers a now a, a very wide swath of really everything that people are doing with technology. So uh, at the core of this story, though, is the infrastructure, uh, which is driving now uh, a, an enormous shift in how organizations purchase and pay for their technology capabilities. They don't have to buy tons of servers and build out their own data center anymore if they don't want to. They can pay as they go, for this technology from a third-party provider. And that's shifting the economics of information technology across across the world. Do you want to mention real quickly, Jonathan Bentz can be found at Netrepid, N-E-T-R-E-P-I-D.com, and his guest, Jason Bloomberg, is at te- Intellix, which is I-N-T-E-L-L-Y-X.com. Jonathan, your next question? So Jason, uh, Jason also recently uh, uh, released a book uh, I believe it was last year about the the about business agile architecture. Um, and one of the things that one of the things that really stood out to me about it was uh, the need for businesses to change to change what they build, not necessarily how it's built. Uh, and I was hoping that you might be able to take a couple seconds here and, and kind of expand upon that 
that kind of core theory from your book. Uh, right. The book uh, is called The Agile Architecture Revolution, uh, and it's basically talking about what it means for organizations to be inherently agile. So uh, an organization will want to deal better with change. They want to be more innovative. They want to be more resilient. They want to be more responsive. All of those are part of business agility. Uh, the challenge is how do we leverage technology in order to support our business agility goals? And that that requires a level of architecture, not a, a, an older, traditional, very paperwork-based approach to architecture, but a, a more agile approach that is focusing on the business value. So this now becomes a key part of the digital story as these same organizations are looking to deal better with shifting customer pressures and the different technology uh, that customers are requiring uh, enterprises to use, and in order to ach achieve the agility they need to do that, organizations need to do architecture better, and it's a way of cutting across both the organization and the technology in, in a way that provides greater agility, even for very large, you know, very bureaucratic organizations. You know, it's, it's almost cliche-ish, you know, where people talk about needing to focus on your business rather than for working for your business, but you'd have to have people involved in your corporation with that kind of mentality to be able to even think this way, don't you, Jason? Right. It's a shift in the way of thinking that you don't want to think just about you know what you're doing today. You know, I'm building this product. I'm solving this customer problem today, but rather think about how everything is going to change. Right, customer behavior is changing, customer preferences are changing, technology is changing, we have globalization, we have changing regulation, we have changing marketplace pressures. So for organizations to be successful, they can't just say, uh, you know, let's solve today's problems today. They have to essentially, you know, move where the puck is going, right, the old Wayne Gretzky uh, metaphor, uh, and deal better with change overall. And that's a whole new level of uh, management capability and organizational uh, maturity that organizations need to develop. Technology is a key enabler, but it's not really a technology story. It's, it's rather technology enabling uh, greater aspects of change and supporting uh, greater uh, capabilities that customers are now demanding. Jonathan, we've got to wrap it up. Your final thoughts on our segment today, and it was a great one. I appreciate you bringing it to us. Yeah, absolutely. Jason uh, is actually going to be participating in a uh, conference uh, along with, uh, in addition to NetRepid CEO Sam Coyle coming up here the first week of December called the NextGen Cloud Conference. Uh, you can learn more about that at NextGen, N-E-X-Gen, G-E-N, cloudcon.com. Uh, but, you know, if we, if we have a couple seconds here, uh, if Jason can kind of tease what he's going to be talking about at NextGen, that would be, that would be fantastic. With about 30 seconds left. Well, uh, a lot of the people who will be showing up are talking about cloud, living in the cloud world. And basically I'm saying, hey, wait a minute, the digital world is how we connect this to the customer. And, of course, you don't have a business unless you have a customer and they're buying something from you they want to pay for. So don't get lost in the technology nuts and bolts. You always have to connect to what the customer is, is trying to get from you. Yeah, very good. Great, uh, great thought. Thanks to both of you gentlemen. Intrepid.com and uh, his guest today, Jason Bloomberg. You can go to Intellix, which is I-N-T-E-L-L-Y-X.com. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks a lot, Thank Kevin. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at the national news website, usdailyreview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter.